Welcome to another episode of Living in Korea. It's dinner time, so we headed down to Cheongsapo in Busan and we're gonna have some eel. Stick around. <laughs> That'll be good. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> this is a very rare sighting. This may be like one of the last restaurants that serves bondegi as a side dish. I haven't seen that in ages. A, one thing is a side dish in a restaurant. Lucy says she likes bondegi. Here we go. <laughs> I tried it once. Didn't try it again. One. I can't. I only see. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> this is half an eel? What are you doing? They say that eating eel promotes a certain type of masculinity. It's a natural form of Viagra, I think they say in Korea. So... Yeah. <laughs> Smoking. Is it done? I don't deny this is a great evolutionary The procedure is similar to any other type of meat eating. <laughs> Huh? The only problem I always had with eel was that it's got a lot of bones. It's very bony. The bones are like tiny slivers of needles. Very thin. So, if the eel is uh, cooked well, the bones will brittle basically and you can crunch them up. But occasionally, We'll get some bones. Koreans love that. I personally don't necessarily do. Not a big fan of bones in my mouth. Do you like sauce or without? I like it both. With sauce. You dump it all in sauce. Different, right? Yeah. The sauce adds flavor to it. You can eat it with or without sauce, but I find marinating it in the, in the spicy sauce is kind of... I don't know. I guess you could like dip it into your bra. Still moving. <laughs> the fish are chopped up pretty fresh, so occasionally when you toss them on the fire, they still wiggle around. That's your life? No, it's just reflexes, nerves. That's the marinated piece. Very yum yum. You always have to have one piece without it being wrapped up into all kinds of leaves and stuff. Just so you get the proper flavor of what the sauce tastes like and stuff on its own, without the additives. Pretty good.
<laughs> All this we've been picking out on. And this is half the order, which is... How much is half? It says 45,000. We should have ordered small one. A small one is 35,000. Medium one, the one that we ordered, is 45,000. And a large one is 55. So, uh, I guess if you're here, yeah, that's a lot. So, I think for two people... Well, thank you. So, what was I saying? Oh, the small small one is 35,000. Medium one, which is the one that we have, and it's quite large. That's 45, which is enough for two people, I think. Well, this is the end of our dinner. Uh, Lucy's looking kind of grim after an evening of... What? <laughs> well, that's eel in Korea. Uh, if you're ever in town, if you're ever in Busan and visiting, uh, was it Cheongsapo? Very nice area, very well developed. It's very different from what it used to be, right? We lived here before our right? Yeah, we lived, we lived on Dalmajigil, which is right across, it's that little hill across from Haeonde Beach. Um, and so we used to frequent these areas quite often. Um, haven't been here for years now. And it's changed a lot. It's very developed. There's a main road going into this place. Um, but this restaurant is the same restaurant that we used to visit. I think it's changed its decor a little bit. Maybe not even. I don't remember if we used to be attended or not. Yeah? Pretty decent. If you want to try some roasted eel. Not roasted. What is it? Barbecued eel come down to this place. We're gonna go home because I'm tired. We still have to drive. It's it's 10 o'clock. We had a very long day shopping at Ikea and doing all the other fun stuff. So Let's go. We need our time too. No? Yeah. And we never get our time, do we? No. So this is our Saturday. You just stay your home, your room, and then I stay my just like home, and then just lay down. And watch the game. Surf. The internet, I just fall apart asleep. This is it was my life. <laughs> Every time I get back from editing, you're asleep. You're asleep in bed. The phone is on like super duper loud, so when a message comes in, it just goes bing bong, and you're sleeping with the lights on. Because I don't like just the dark, dark place, I just can't my But well, at least you're not falling asleep in front of the TV anymore. I don't watch TV. How come? You used to watch it religiously. Yeah, but you used to get home, get home and like turn on TV and just lay down in front of it and fall asleep. Now you just go, go to bed. Very tired. I want to go to bed and then come home and I just watch it. <laughs> But this is kind of happy too because I want to go to the every day when I go to Hava in the morning I talk for peace and still remember and still something to think about my place but when I cook in the morning and dessert for them, snack for them I'm happy, kind of happy because they're so cute. And my yes, baby, I miss them. Right? Uh -huh. yeah. No? You miss them? Of course. They're my kids. I know. I know them. They are they're being just building like this very and for my son and my daughter <laughs> will be happy with me and with you. Oh, <laughs> So remember, if you're like us and are living in Korea or simply enjoy watching videos about South Korea, it's people, culture and food, then subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the section below if you have any questions, like the video, um, and we'll see you in the next one. Doodles!